Hello and welcome to my channel, I Win to Lose Gaming. So today we are going to take a quick look at a Constellation 6 story and I'm going to be seeing just how viable or I guess unviable a main DPS Constellation 6 story can be. Now let's start this off by actually taking a look at her build. So for her build, we have a lot of crit stats on her. You know, 80% uh, crit rate, 215% crit damage, and a little bit of energy recharge, but most importantly, a good amount of element of mastery. For her weapon, she has the Refinement 5 Red Hornstone Thresher. Now, interestingly enough, the Red Hornstone Thresher, while the refinements are good, uh, the refinements for Dory are far from absolutely necessary because the flat defense that it adds to her basic attacks is an important part, but honestly, you know, we're talking a couple hundred points of flat damage, which is easily shored up by uh, Aggravate, right? So we're going to be running Dory with an Elemental Mastery Focus build with a Timepiece and Electro Damage Goblets, as well as the Four Piece Thundering Fairy to reduce the cooldown on her stuff. And her constellations in particular do make a big impact on Dory's performance. Constellation 2 adds an extra ball for her elemental skill and Constellation 6 uh, adds Electro Infusion to her basic attacks, but only for 3 seconds. Last but not least, we have Dory's talents and they are at 9, 12, and 12. So, um, in case you guys haven't seen my Constellation 0 Dory showcase or you're not familiar with her ICDs, normally at Constellation 0, her elemental skill only applies Electro once, and then her elemental burst applies Electro four times. However, uh, we're going to apply Dendro onto it. Now her elemental skill applies Electro twice. As we can see, it procced Quicken, then it procced Aggravate. And let's just add Dendro again really quick. And her basic attacks now also activate Aggravate. As we can see in that N3 string, we managed to activate two entire Aggravates. So at Constellation Zero, in a typical rotation, Dory would be applying Electro six times with two elemental skills as well as one elemental burst, four times on her elemental burst. However, now at Constellation 6, which I'll do a quick showcase of how much damage she does uh, with the Dendro Traveler's burst up. Is a lot more aggravates, like a significant amount more. Look at all those aggravates. So basically, we've pretty much gone from just using two elemental skills and her elemental burst for uh, six aggravates to Constellation Zero to using roughly three of her elemental skills as well as three N3C combos plus her elemental burst. Each elemental skill plus N3 combo applies aggravate four times. So that is 12 plus four. So 16 aggravates in comparison to at Constellation Zero where she was only doing six aggravates. So the team that I'm going to be showcasing next is a more kind of a maximized Dory's damage in the short term team. We have a Constellation 4 Tignari which adds 120 Elemental Master along with the Elegy for the End which adds another 200 Elemental Master for total 320 Elemental Master just from Tignari alone. So he will be our Dendro applicator, his talents are whatever because we're just using him as support. Kazuha. Um, yeah, Kazuha, you know, you guys know him, I don't think I need to explain Constellation 2, 200 Element Mass 3, and Freedom Sworn for the 20-ish percent, uh, for the 32% increased normal and charge attack damage. And last but not least, we have Sara with the Skyward Harp, as well as the Four Piece Instructors to add another nice amount of 120 Element Mass 3. Yeah, Tignari's using the Four Piece and the Blessed Blige, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but yes, uh, Sars Element skill is crowned for the maximum amount of attack buff. All right, so the rotation is something like this. We are going to first apply Electro to our Primo Jiovichet friend. Obviously get the Swirl with Kazuha. Then proc, aggravate, as well as the, um, whatchamacallit. And we're doing, you know, a reasonable, non-negligible amount of damage right now. 30 to 40 damage slashes uh, near the end. I think at the very start of the rotation, it was doing more damage. I wasn't paying attention uh, to how much damage it was doing, but 
Hey, that kind of counts as like a mini one cycle because we didn't have to use a second rotation of Elemental Burst against the Primo Geovisha. Let's go ahead and next give this a try against our favorite angry new Burb friend who I do enjoy harassing. So yeah, we're going to try to get it very upset at us. And I'm going to try to actually apply uh, Electro onto the bird with Sara's Burst first. So this way... And I'm not sure what happened there, but... Furry's damage was a little bit lacking. And now we run into the problem. Yeah, so I did not do that rotation properly, but we can still see that it was still able to, I guess, one cycle our angry burb friend uh, so far. Let's go ahead and try this story out in the overworld as well, just to see how she does against some trash mobs for fun. Now, of course, in the overworld, uh, you know, we obviously deal with a lot of... Um, uh, the monsters here are a lot weaker than Abyss 12, so we are going to go take a look at how she does in Abyss 12 as well. Let's go ahead and just only apply Dendro and Aggravate uh, to just see how she feels. 14,000 slashes, and sometimes though, the Electro Infusion ends before she can even get out her, um, her N3. And as you can tell, it's quite cumbersome to say the least to use her because her elemental skill throws her backwards and you obviously want to move forward with her claymore attacks. Alright, so we're going to use N1 into a charge attack. Okay, so we can see that the third hit on her charge attack applied aggravate, but the first one didn't. And we can also see that we only managed to squeeze out a few attacks yeah, that's the thing, is that her Electro Infusion is very short. Right? But, I mean, to be fair, it, it does, like, a... Um, a slightly reasonable amount of damage. There we go. Look at that double aggravate with her elemental skill. Alright. So one problem with using Kazuha is that, yeah, that just happens, and obviously Dory's not going to be able to get an attack off. Uh, but as we can see... Uh, with this build and amount of investment in the Red Hornstone Thresher, she is finally able to carry her weight in the overworld. Let's go ahead and take her to, I guess, the endgame content of Genshin Impact Abyss 12. And we're going to see how it feels to complete Abyss 12 with a Constellation 6 Dory. So yes, uh, 12 on 1, a bunch of RNG in terms of how these robots end up behaving. You want them to neander towards you, both at the beginning as well as after the beginning. In particular, it's the second rotation that matters a lot. Well, not rotation, but second um, attack cycle that you really want them to uh, stay together. Dang, Dory can't even squeeze in a charge attack after an N2. I messed up that a little bit because I did um, the uh, whatchamacallit. So do we have Electro on it? We do. And... Oh dear, it's flying away. As we can see, Dory's uh, melee range definitely not helpful when it comes to hitting things like uh, the robot as it's flying away, but you know what? What was that? 51 seconds? Yeah, that's 51 seconds. That's better than I honestly expected. So I'll see you guys in 12.2.1 next. All right, we are in 12.2.1. And we're going to open up this chamber by tossing Dory's lamp over there. That way we can swirl Electro and pull them all together like this. And this is... where did the Sassin Mage go? She went back to where she started. That's, uh, that's great. But, I think luckily for us, we managed to actually get the, um, Sassin Mage. So we're gonna pull her towards us again. Yeah, um, that's the thing about 12 is that 
even though like yeah we completed quickly it's all about Kazuha just grouping them because they're not gonna stay still for Dory to slap him with her uh, with her basic attacks right anyway I'm gonna fill up my energy for 1231 because really these chambers with these grunts or these humanoid enemies are all about uh, just the animal character that ends up messing them up all right so we're gonna open this up with a Dory E to apply Electro, Kazuha, hold E into his Elemental Burst. And then we're going to do all this, just the usual rotation for this team. And sadly, the um, big Vishap guy uh, managed to escape us for a sec. Now, oh, follow this up with a Kazuha Burst. I don't even think it has Dendro on it. Very unfortunate. Yeah, I've been having a lot of trouble keeping a Dendro on this guy. Alright, so let's pull the green one towards the blue one. And then we can pull this other one. Hopefully we can catch all three here. And... Look at that! <laughs> Again, Kazuha does so much of the heavy lifting in that team. You know, Constellation 6, all the swirl damage, it's just... It's definitely a very Kazuha favorite chamber, but... To complete it in 68 seconds is, uh... Is perfectly admirable. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, uh... That's a reasonable performance. So I also have a nuke showcase to show you guys with this Aggravate Dory as well as the um, Tignari team. And basically Dory is doing, you know, like 92,000 damage with her N1. She did, I think, over 100,000 damage with just her elemental skill, 50,000 damage Aggravate. Now, of course, for a Constellation 6 character, this isn't like too impressive given, you know, what Constellation 6 characters can pull off. But for Dory, who I don't think many of us really viewed her to be a, even a good DPS character uh, to do this in a nuke situation, I'm pretty impressed by it. I, I think it's pretty funny to see. And yeah, it, it's a lot of fun to use her in this context. So yeah, that wraps up this Constellation 6 Dory showcase video. I actually think she's not horrible because she's able to apply Electro a total of 16 times, assuming you are willing to keep her on the field for a bit through her, you know, N3C combos or N3 combos. Um, and yeah, going from a character that can barely apply any Electro only six times at Constitution Zero to a character that can apply Electro around 16 times definitely makes a big difference uh, for our favorite pint size Genie. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.